In this lesson, we're going to stick with chain rule, but I'm going to do three examples that I consider harder examples. Uh, they're not so much harder in the taking of the derivative. Uh, you're going to find the challenge at the end of the problem in simplifying the derivatives, uh, which will mainly be in the algebra. So it's going to be some harder examples, but more uh, harder in the algebra sense, not the calculus sense. First example to find the derivative. Uh, we have x squared times the square root of 1 minus x squared. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is the first thing I'd always do with uh, anytime I have radicals and I want to take the derivative is I'm going to rewrite the expression first using powers. So this is x squared times quantity 1 minus x squared to the 1 half power. And now I can see that uh, between the x squared and this binomial quantity, we have a product. So we're going to run a product rule on that as we begin the derivative. So let's start right there. So I've got two pieces. I've got the x squared piece and I've got the 1 minus x squared to the 1 half piece. They are multiplied together. Product rule says we take the derivative of the first piece x squared's derivative is 2x. We leave the second piece. Plus, now we keep the first piece, and we take the derivative of the second piece, and that's going to be our power rule with chain rule on the inside. Um, so power rule first, we have half coming out in front. And as I do that power rule part, remember that outer function's derivative, while we do that outer function, the inside 1 minus x squared just stays 1 minus x squared. And now we multiply by the derivative of the inside, which is negative 2x. All right, let's do a little bit of rewriting first, mainly on that second term. Okay, what I'm going to do on this second term, a couple things. Um, this negative sign, I'm going to pull it all the way to the front. And then the 1 half times the 2 are going to cancel each other out and make 1, so I'm going to get rid of those. And so rewriting this second term is minus x to the third, 1 minus x squared to the negative one-half. Okay, so now here comes a little more algebra. What I'm going to do next is look for a common factor. And notice that there are these binomials, 1 minus x squared, that are common in each of these two terms. So I'm going to take out the 1 minus x squared. And when I take out a common factor, we can take out the smallest power of that factor. And negative one half is smaller than one half. So I'm going to take out one minus x squared to the negative one half power. Now inside the parentheses we're going to write down everything that's left behind from taking out that common factor. So we left behind the 2x. And I did leave behind something here. Um, I took away from this a negative one half. Okay, so let's think about that. If I take away, and take away means subtract, if I take away negative one-half from positive one-half, taking away a negative is like subtracting a negative, is like adding a half. So if I take away negative one-half from one-half, I'm left with one. And over in this term, all I'm left with is just x to the third. Okay, what's going to be left to finish this, I'm going to move this to the denominator. So it becomes positive one-half. I'm going to simplify the numerator, which is everything in this set of parentheses. It's distributing it's 2x minus 2x to the third minus x to the third. Um, so one more step. Let's write the final answer right here. The numerator is 2x minus 3x to the third over, the denominator is 1 minus x squared to the half. And 
In this next example, I'm again going to begin with some rewriting. Um, I'm going to rewrite by bringing this entire radical expression up to the numerator, and I'm also going to rewrite it with a fractional power. So I'll have x times x squared plus 4. It's a cube root, so it's going to be a one-third power, but it'll be a negative one-third power as I'm bringing it up to the numerator. Okay. Once we're in this form, written as a product, it's very, very similar to the last example in that we're going to do a product rule, and this second piece we'll have to do a power chain rule on it. Um, so let's begin that, and we'll go a little faster this time. Derivative of x is 1 times the x squared plus 4 to the negative 1 third plus, now we keep the x, and I want the derivative of this piece. So the power comes out in front. The inside stays the same as we take 1 away from the power, becomes negative 4 thirds, and we multiply by the derivative of the inside, which is 2x. Okay, um, different than the last example, I can't really cancel the coefficients here. Um, I can pull that negative out. Um, the negative off of this is going to come out. Let's kind of highlight that. This negative is going to come here as a subtraction on that term. Um, but let's go ahead and take out the common factor. The common factor is x squared plus 4 and I can take out the smallest power of x squared plus 4. The smallest power that I see is this negative 4 thirds. It's definitely smaller than negative 1 third. So that's what's going to come out. So I'm taking out x squared plus 4 to the negative 4 thirds. Alright, so what's left behind? Uh, again, just like in the last example, on this first x squared plus 4 uh, term here, I'm going to take away a negative 4 thirds. So again, take away negative is like adding 4 thirds to negative 1 third. If I add 4 thirds to that, I'm going to have 1 left over. Over out here in this term, um, the neg x squared plus 4 to the negative 4 thirds, all of that's out here. So all I'm left with is minus, and it looks like I'm going to have two-thirds x squared. Okay. So let's see, I'm going to make a fraction out of this. We're going to move this x squared plus four to the four-thirds power down. On the numerator, I'm going to have x squared. I'm just going to combine like terms here. x squared minus two-thirds x squared leaves me with one-third x squared plus 4. Um, now there's a problem with this. We don't really like fractions as a part of bigger fractions, so we have to kind of clean that up somehow. Um, I'm going to write the numerator like this. 1 third x squared plus 4 is the same as 12 thirds. Okay, what that allows me to do is see the numerator this way common factor of one-third out. And with that common factor of one-third pulled out, um, I can rewrite this with the three down here. So I'll have one on top, three on bottom. There would be my one-third. Um, so the final answer the f prime of x is going to be x squared plus 12 over 3, there's from the one-third coming down, x squared plus 4 to the four-thirds power. In this final challenging example, uh, there's no radical to start this, so there's no sense in needing to rewrite this expression in any way, shape, or form. We can go ahead and just take the derivative as it sits. Um, it's a power chain rule. I've got a power out here that's going to come to the front, and then we're going to take the derivative of the inside. Um, the derivative of the inside part itself is kind of the challenge because the inside is a quotient. We're going to use a quotient rule on it. Uh, well, let's begin 
by doing power chain rule. So 2 out in front, leaving behind 3x minus 1 over x squared plus 3. That's now to the first. I'll go ahead and write it just so we can see that the power rule happened. Um, now we're going to multiply by the derivative of the inside, and that requires the quotient rule. So the quotient rule says take the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom all divided by this bottom x squared plus 3 quantity squared. Okay, so there's our derivative. Everything after this is all algebra. Okay, The calculus part is done. Uh, let's just rewrite this first piece. I'm going to simplify the numerator. Um, let's just see if we can do this all kind of at the same time. I'm going to have 3x squared. This is going to be negative 6x squared. So I'm going to have negative 3x squared. Uh, looks like next term is going to be this one. I'm going to have minus a negative 2x, so plus 2x. And then I'm going to have this plus 9 over x squared plus 3 squared. And I'm going to combine these together. So we're going to have one big fraction. The denominator is going to be x squared plus 3 cubed. It's two of them over here, one of them right here. The numerator is going to be 2 times 3x minus 1 times negative 3x squared plus 2x plus 9. Um, I'll call that good on the derivative. Uh, if we wanted to do more to this, then uh, we could multiply out the numerator, um, but I see no need to go through that, so we'll go ahead and call the problem finished right here.